know what's happening. My heart rate. I'm gonna get the doctor. No, get Ridge. Please find him, hurry. Taylor? I can't breathe. Her heart rate's 129. We have to administer more lidocaine. Her drip is maxed out. Uh, pronestal? No. But there's gotta be something we can do. Turn off the alarm. Hurry, Mia. Yes. The QRS rhythm has become polymorphic. I had hoped to control it with medication. But it's not working. There's nothing else you can do? No. There is. Uh, we could give you an AICD. It's a device that shocks the heart every time it loses rhythm. It's like a reset button. Will that work? At this point, I'm afraid it's too dangerous. The arrhythmia isn't responding to the medication, which means that the, well, the shocking device would be activating with more frequency than your body could withstand. Any surgery right now would be extremely precarious. What if I don't get the surgery? Um, unchecked, the arrhythmia will intensify and your heart rate will continue to increase. If it should go over 160, your heart won't fill with blood completely, so it won't pump blood through your body. Your blood pressure will drop dangerously low. Ventricular tachycardia. I'm sorry. You just give me the word, Taylor. It's up to you. What do you want to do? I know you don't want to get into this right now, but it could be an issue, Dad. It's, uh, it's about the jingle. Don't, I don't. Want to get into it, all right? I don't. I, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, too, son. I don't mean to snap at you. Just, well, it doesn't seem right, us being here, going about our business like nothing's happened. Look, I can take care of things here, okay? Why don't you go to the hospital? No, no, I have that meeting tonight, and I have this other Dad, stuff. Dad, Dad, hey, I can handle it, okay? Go on. Thanks. Thanks, right. Dad, Taylor's going to be okay. Hey, Mother. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Why? What's wrong? Taylor, something happened to her. Get in there right now. Quickly, she needs you. Taylor, oh my God, what are you doing? Where's your oxygen, your IV? Why, why aren't you hooked up to the machines? I took them off. Taylor, you can't. You need those. Come on, we gotta get your doctor. It's, all right. it's okay. I know what I'm doing. coming in tonight? I was on my way home, and I thought I'd give Eric an update. I just sent him to the hospital. He wasn't getting any work done? He's really worried about Taylor. <sighs> yeah, we all are. How's she doing? She's stable. Rich said she looks good. You didn't see her? I did earlier, but Stephanie was in with her when I left, so I didn't want to interrupt. Well, what about you? How's the shoulder? Oh, it's... Nothing compared to what Taylor went through, is going through. I was lucky. We all were. 
I just hope that that luck holds out. Stephanie. Eric, hi. I'm glad you're here. Is everything all right? Something happened? One of the monitors on Taylor uh, just started going off, and I got up to go and get a doctor, and she insisted that I go find Ridge. Did you? Yes, I mean, yeah, he's in there now. Did you talk to Dr. Cooper? No, no, the nurses said that he and another doctor went in there while I was looking for Ridge. Well, everything must be all right, or we would have heard something. I don't think that's the case. Why? You remember a few Christmases ago, I gave Taylor my grandmother's necklace. She gave it back to me. She wants me to give it to one of the girls when they're older. But she can do that herself. That's not what she's talking about. That's not what she's talking about at all. Taylor, this isn't safe. You can't just take yourself off the machines. We have he to knows. call the doctor. What do you mean he knows? I asked him to do it. Why? Because I don't need them anymore. You don't need them, so you're okay? Yes, and you will be too. You and the children are surrounded by so many people who love you and will care for you. Nobody needs to worry about me and the kids. You're the one we're praying for, Doc. My life has it's been so full of blessings. Our marriage, our children, our family we've created. I couldn't ask for anything more. Well, you're going to get a lot more of them. There's still a lot of blessings ahead for us. all the faith in the world. I know that God's up there watching over us. Nobody's going to tear this family apart. Our prayers aren't always answered the way we expect them to be. Well, I'm not expecting any miracle cures. I, uh, I understand this is going to take time. Rich. So the doctor took you off the machines and all that, so you... It's just a matter of time before you can come home, then. You said Ridge thought Taylor looked good. He's feeling very positive. So you guys talked. He's certain she's going to recover. Well, that's great news. Yes, it is. I tell you, I can't fathom what you went through, Brooke. No, you can't, Thorne, because you weren't there. But it was really horrible. I mean, just to see Taylor laying there on the floor like that and, and Ridge the look on his face when he saw her, it was... God, I was just so scared. You know, there was a time when I would have done anything to get between those two. And I really believed that Ridge belonged to me. But I was wrong. Because the love that they share and everything they've been through, now that is real. That's forever. They're an amazing couple. Yeah. And Taylor is one amazing woman. And everything that she's done for Amber and, and for me. When I came in the room and Sheila was pointing the gun at me, Taylor didn't even stop to think. She just reacted and she grabbed her. She saved my life, Thorne. Look, Brooke, if you're feeling guilty, I just no want her to go home. I, I, I want her to get out of the hospital. And I want Rich and the kids to have Taylor back because they need her. 
We all do. You're gonna be fine. You're getting better. No, Rich, I'm not. The arrhythmia is worse. They can give you medicine. I'm not responding. Then you can have another operation. I don't want to die on the operating table. You're not gonna die, Taylor. Stop that and stop saying. You can't give up, Taylor. You gotta keep fighting. I'm not giving up. It's alright. I'm not scared. Well, I am. I am. I don't want to lose you. I can't lose you. Not again. Not like this. It's too soon. I want more time. We have so much to be thankful for. Falling in love. Our babies. Loving our babies and building a future for them. What kind of future are we gonna have without you? Listen, I I can't pretend to know what you've been through, okay? Or what it must have been like. Well, that's not important now. I just want to focus on Taylor's recovery. And you need to focus on your own. I'm all right. What? I was just worried about Taylor. Well, you said she was stable. <sighs> yes, she is. Then we just have to hope for the best. No, Thorne, we have to pray for the best. And we have to believe that those prayers are going to be answered. Because that's what Taylor would do. It's gonna be okay, all right? It's gonna be okay, come on. Stephanie, this is incredibly nerve-wracking. We're all on edge, but we cannot let our fears get the best of us. And we're gonna get through this all of us, together. them well. I will. I know. I know. They're going to miss their mommy so much, too. There's so 
many things I want to say. But all I can think when I look at you is I love you. It's enough. Is it? Built my entire life around those words. Our home, our family. It's the one thing I've always been able to depend on. You still can. Our love won't die. You want me to call a doctor? No. I want you to... I want you to pick me up. I want you to make me stand up with you. Stand up. Put your arms around me. Hold me. Hold me. Uh-huh. <laughs>